Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So for this job we're going to be using the Dekilbe SG2i Pro with the T2 air cap on it, or the Trans Tech air cap. So it's not the HBLP air cap we're using on this job. Uh, they're a very popular gun, uh, they're one of the most popular guns that are out there. Uh, you can see that here in West Australia, the Australian Air Force Force is the most popular gun in the sales of all of these uh, Trans Tech air caps. Uh, they're very popular and 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 they're very popular than any other gun followed by the NS by Water W400. So the settings I've found for this to get the best finish is wind your fluid, which is this one, that pulls the trigger in and tightens the trigger up. So you wind that right in and then you wind it out 2.5 or 2.5 turns. Um, leave the fan, which is this one here, we'll have that right open, so I'll wind that right out to the left, have the fan right open. And we'll set the pressure on our gauge at 2 bar. And apart from that, uh, that's pretty much the correct settings for this gun. Um, I'll give you a look at this gun with the, I've got the GoPro chest strap, so you'll be mounted on here for this bit. So as I said, they're a very popular spray gun. Uh, they sell quite a lot of these guns. Uh, they're very popular for a reason, they get a great finish, um, they're not overly expensive, retail would be about 950 but trade price you'll get one for about $700, depending on who you get it off and where that's you buy it. Um, I've seen some on eBay for about 950 but it's easy to see why they're so popular. Um, they're my favourite gun, I've actually got four of these uh, GTI Pros. Um, one of the air caps I have is the Transtech cap, which they mostly usually come with, but I ended up deciding that I like the HVLP cap a little bit better because it gets it on a little bit wetter and it's also a little bit more um, efficient. They will use a touch less paint with the uh, HVLP, not a great deal. So, for this job, as you can see, it's a both fenders, a bonnet, front bumper bar and a blend on that left hand front door and the amount of paint I ended up using on this one was 1.1 litres um, if I had been using the HVLP I probably could have cut that down by maybe 200 mils down to maybe 900 mils or something like that so it's not a big difference but if you spray painting every day, day in day out then it does start to make a difference um, I'd say the T2 is um, easier to use than the HVLP. Um, you don't have to get the gun quite so close um, and it's easier to get a nice finish but um, once you know how to use the HVLP you can you can get a slightly better finish I've found. Although by adjusting your pressure settings and your fluid and fan settings you can get a, a really nice finish with these guns. So. Um, at the end of this vid I've also got a couple of links to a couple of um, the other guns that I've reviewed and demonstrated. I've got the, uh, the second most popular gun over here in West Australia which is the W400 NS Iwata and also the Sartajet 4000B, the HVLP version of it. Um, I've got those two links at the end of this vid. Check them out if you haven't already seen them. Um, also got a Sergeant RP review on demo. Check, you can have a look at that one too. If you check through my vids. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a few few parts in this video that I ended up having to edit out. Um, uh, on this chest mount, uh, I found when I was doing the door because I was slightly hunched over to do it. It was ended up that the, the camera was focusing on the floor, so I had to cut a lot of the video out so, and, and I'm only using this gun for clear so I, I skip the base coat as well obviously but you can still get a good idea of how to use the spray gun um, using these settings you, you're going to get a pretty good finish um, you don't want to wind the fluid out too much um, I think as I said at the start two and a half turns out is the best way to have it um, two bar of pressure, which is approximately 29 psi. Um, the air set, air pressure setting. Um, you can drop it down a touch, but you wouldn't want to go uh, too much lower, or else you start getting it very, very orange feely and too thick. You'll get the paint on too thick. It's not going to atomize nice and finely like it will when you have the slightly higher pressure. So 
I've uh, also got a, a head mount for the GoPro, which next week I think I'll start using that a bit more. See what the videos come up like with that, see if I can get an improvement. But I'm just going to be changing it up a bit. I found that the, the footage on this bumper bar ended up being better than than the rest of the footage. Um, the, the bonnet was okay and the bumper bar was okay, but as I said before, some of the other footage is just um, all over the place. So I ended up missing this car once it was all together. I uh, worked in quite a busy workshop and I am in the spray paint side and I missed this car once it was detailed and washed up. So just a quick look at it here once I've finished painting it, but not what not after it's all finished off. As you can see the spray gun gets quite a nice orange peel, nice wet look to it. You can achieve very good results and it's easy to see why they're such a popular gun. So as I said, hang around, check out these couple of links if you like. Um, thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Bye.